Welcome to the International Synth Design Hackathon. My name is Rui, and in this video, we're going to cover the theme for this year and tips to help you make the most out of the next four days of your adventure into synth design and interactive installations. You can design anything from an interactive installation to a sculpture to a musical instrument. It's really up to you. And the nice thing about this hackathon is that people from different faculties in different departments are joining. So it could be that you're in computer science. It could be that you're a mechanical engineer. It could be that you're an artist or a designer, industrial designer or graphic designer. You should play to your strength and make something cool in the space that you're comfortable with. An important thing I want to stress out here is that this hackathon is not about technology. It is actually about concept development. And because you only have four days, I think that it's good to break it down to a couple of phases. The first phase is to come up with a concept. Look at the design challenge and the prompts and try to pick one that you feel comfortable working with. Look at the sensors that are available for you in different academies. We have different sensors, so just pick the one or two or maybe three that you feel like could actually fit to your concept. Take a few hours to maybe sketch some ideas, talk to your teachers and build up on this idea to refine it. But then once you have something that you feel like, yeah, this should be a good direction, don't dwell on it, just start making. In the second and the third day, you should really prototype, prototype, prototype as fast as you can. You don't want to spend too much time on the detail, but really think about the bigger picture. On the fourth day, stop working on your prototype. The fourth day is only for communication. Keep in mind that all the teachers and all the students from around the world that are going to be seeing your project are going to see the video and the images. If you won't have enough time to really make these shine, it'll be really hard for people to understand what you actually done. So take three days to develop your concept and prototype, and then the fourth day is for communication. When you're done with your project and you want to submit it, make sure to scroll down on this page, you're going to see a form where you can fill in all the information. This form is going to go to the database and generate the page in the gallery for your project. I want to say thank you so much for the sponsors of the event. These are Electrosmith with their amazing Daisy Seed microcontroller. You can build all sorts of standalone devices with this beast of a microcontroller. Cycling74, who provided us with Max MSP and Rainbow licenses. Arturia, who provided us with licenses for the FX Collection 3. And the cherry on the top, Superbooth who gave us space to exhibit two of the projects in Superbooth 2023. Thank you so much for participating. I'm super curious to see what you guys are going to come up with. And if you have any questions, I'm on Discord, the CentUX Academy Discord that you should have a link to on this page. I'll see you online. Good luck.